Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we begin with Cauldron who has entered the dual system and needs to land on Paul with a very trim sort of lander here so I'm mildly worried about what may or may not go wrong with it. Uh, but we are approaching a correction node here and so we'll just take care of that and that will hopefully get us an encounter that will assist us. We are already encountering Tylo and this adjustment will actually get us a all tangency orbit. So this has to be done pretty precisely. Let's hurry up here. Okay, and go. Okay, getting rid of that. We have a safe Tylo periapsis, a safe dual periapsis, and a pretty close approach over at the Paul end. Okay, I'll take that for now. Everything is safe. Let us proceed with Cauldron. I can't remember off the top of my head how many Kerbals have actually visited the dual system. It can't be too many. Okay, we are in Tylo SOI. I don't know, uh, maybe Cauldron should just double check that there isn't any... Not that we need science, mind you, but... Okay, yeah, EV report is already done. We'll have another encounter with Tylo if we stay like this. So we should probably try not to stay like this. Um, and lift our orbit up to try and get a fall encounter at some point. That's too expensive right now though. Okay, we've got sort of a close encounter going on here. But we have to do something before like Tylo flings us out of the station, uh, out of the system, sorry. Okay, let's do the first correction first. We don't have a whole lot to work with here though. Alright, the inaccuracy might even help for all I know, but uh, it's not a big problem right now since we don't have an encounter. Hmm, it's a little bit worrisome. How much would it be to just match orbits with Paul right away? It seems like barely within the budget of this stage, doesn't it? Okay, well there's an encounter. And then that'll leave us with a uh, hundred left. Let's fine tune this and see if we have enough with this stage though. Uh, it's got to be a very much derelict stage at the end of this. Not, not really my intention, but... Okay, that's closer. Mm, maybe for exit we actually want to be equatorial rather than polar, but I don't know where the Yellowstones are right now, so maybe polar is better for now. They're probably in some certain biome that I'll have to check out. Okay, it doesn't seem like it takes too much to capture. That is a hundred, well, that's more than we have here though. Um, keep it loose. And I think the stage has some RCS. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can complete it with RCS, we'll see. We could probably get even closer, but I think the RCS plus the fuel that we have will be barely enough to do it. Okay, so that's the plan. The thing is, uh, we'll do this maneuver first, but then we have to wait for a few days. And let me double check when the jewel station is coming in. Let's target nine days. Okay, well then that's fine. Okay, and go. So the yellow stones are supposed to be in the highlands or the poles. So probably pretty good that we're in a polar orbit. I hope we're polar enough to get to the poles. I think we'll just aim for the pole. The pole on Paul uh, to get it. Okay, there's Paul and we are approaching. Double check that none of the lander fuel has been used. I mean, the delta V over there st uh, seems like it indicates that none hasn't. Okay, hopefully that is the right one. Okay, so just a minor change to our approach so that we're not so high. Hopefully that'll make the capture more efficient, though we only have 108 in this stage now. 
But we would like to put this nuclear stage into orbit, not have it float free in the dual system. So we're approaching like that, and again, hopefully that's polar enough. I don't want to adjust the inclination even more. We could probably have gone down a little bit closer even. 20-ish kilometers though is fairly close to something this rugged as far as I'm concerned. 13 seconds of stage time. Okay, and go. Might as well pour on the RCS at the same time, though we have only the weak RCS thrusters. Okay, well, the main engine's out. This is certainly still not a capture, even though the apoapsis is positive. Okay, that's a capture, but I'd like it lower. That's probably okay for now, until we decide whether we need to adjust the inclination. Let's see what we're over here. High over Paul. Well, we might need to get lower. Okay, board. Report. Uh, transmit, I guess. Okay. And transmit that. Alright. So we'll have to get low over Paul to see the surface biomes. Trying to figure out where the highlands are would be a pain. So that's why I'm going for the pole. It's just too rugged. Midlands? I mean, how could we tell even? Okay, fine. Midlands. Let's see if there's a pole somewhere around here. Highlands, though. I'm not going to be able to figure out whether we're landing. Uh, this is Highlands, which means uh, Yellowstone might be here. But where is here, anyway? Um, sure seems polar to me. Maybe this sort of messed up area is the pole of Paul. Lowlands? The last thing I wanted. Nope, still Lowlands. Mm, so you got me. Maybe we have to tilt the orbit a bit. There's Lowlands and Midlands right next to the Highlands. So maybe we'll adjust our orbit like that with the RCS if we can. Okay, well we really don't have much use of this stage anymore. Um, yeah, so let's just decouple away from it. Alright, everything is nominal here. Let's make a dummy segment there and activate just in case I didn't want to decouple or anything. Okay, any sort of surface feature to help us out here? It seems very plain. That's its orbit. We're very polar. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe over here. Poles, okay, so here's the pole. Um, maybe we should just break now. And deorbit. Okay, coming straight down here. Uh, verify that this is the pole. Yep, okay. Let's not transmit the science because we have very little electric charge right now. And then after this, we will have to be able to get back to Kerbin. I'm gonna retract the solar panels for safety's sake. Uh, it's a little bit bumpy around here. We're landing on our little dumplings. Oh, 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 we're skidding, we're skidding. And we're sliding. Please let there be friction. Um, hold on, maybe we can turn a bit to slow down. Uh, or not. Come on. This gotta be a way to safely slow ourselves down. Um. Well, we're slowing down now. This doesn't bode well for when Cauldron actually exits, though. 
At this point, we're very mission focused. We need to find Yellowstones. Don't care about applying a flag or anything like that. Darn it. Okay. EVA. Um, just. Yeah, fall off. <laughs> okay, well, I don't see anything likely around. There's a lot of stones, but that's the problem. They're not likely to be yellow stones. Oh, my error. Okay, there we go. Somewhere around one of those must be Yellowstone, right? They're all sort of tannish. Oh wait, what about that little thing? Hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Looks sort of orange-red to me, but... No, climb. Alright, you've climbed it. Okay, pick up Yellowstones. Okay. We got it. Yellowstone analysis, keep back to pod. All right, I'll let you plant a flag. Cauldron at Paul's Poles. I declare this Yellowstone National, or sorry, Interplanetary Park. Sure. Sherry sure has the authority to do that. Really, really, really don't want to knock over the pod. Okay, grabbed and bored, and let's get SAS on quickly. All right, so let's make sure, well, we're polar anyway, so there's no way we, we're going to line up with anything at all. Yeah, it's got to be 90 degrees no matter what. Let's just head south, whichever direction that is. Okay, go. All right, there we go. 1958 meters per second. Is that gonna be enough or do we need help? That is the question. But for now, Cauldron is safe and we can focus on the jewel station. We should get a transfer window back. So let's see, 107 days, okay. Well, we'll trust that for now. Okay, so we are here with the Jewel station in the Jewel system, and we are going to approach Tylo. We have a safe pass to get Tylo to capture us. Uh, that Jewel periapsis is fine, but we ultimately need to get to a very low orbit around Jewel. So I think we checked that I definitely need to do more than one pass around some moon because we need an altitude below 4,000 kilometers. And if we just, after passing Tylo, try and bring our orbit down directly. Now that's already too much and we haven't gotten the right altitude. So, we'll pass Tylo first and then make plans. So here is our jewel station. But yeah, uh, especially because we can't dump that oxidizer because I don't have a fuel drain valve. Uh, we are stuck with uh, the Delta V that we've got and we need more. But we can get some from those moons. So, okay, uh, approaching. Definitely don't want to mess with this approach. Uh-oh, we've lost comms. Uh, well, we've got that big relay antenna, but we're gonna need communication with something. Hmm. Well, we've got a lot of stuff in the dual system. Hopefully we'll be able to communicate with something or another. We've got electric charge. Oh, now we've got comms. But I don't know how it's all going to work out. Anyway, as far as capturing round jewel is concerned, we don't need comms right now, at least. Okay, comms are a little bit better now, but sometimes drop off. Passing right by again. Okay, and after this, what we really need is lathe. Because that's the only thing that can pull us down into a very low orbit. Well, after that pass of lathe, how much more do we need? No, we would still need 1,800, it looks like. 1,850, so... And that's with uh, apoapsis just under the 4,000, so that's not good enough. Okay, well, I think I'll take this for a beginner. Uh, for a starter here. 
We may have to refuel this to get it into position. Okay, that's as good as I can do that one. I guess we could try and dip into Jules' atmosphere and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, that's a dodgy business, but 200 kilometers, but I don't know what would be safe necessarily. Okay, the tiniest flyby of Lathe. Right, well, here we are as close to Jewel as we can get. Without tipping into the atmosphere, I just want to see. Yeah, well, we're way off from where we need to be. So, let's say we continue to want Lathe's help. Let's see if it can help us at all. Safe around Jewel, safe around Lathe. So we do this. And this 44.2 effectively brings our orbit down to Tyler orbit. So we'll do this. Okay, I really want that to be done properly. Let's see. Um, well, it's not quite done properly. Uh, whoa. Um, we're not crashing into... Oh, we're crashing into Jewel on this path. Oh, shoot. I was looking at the way we were approaching Jewel and I'm going, that looks dangerous. Okay. No, I think this is all dangerous. It's all not good. Yeah, well, we'll have to do this. We cannot crash into Jewel. That would not be good. So I think I'm going to just have to refuel this. There might be a lot of stuff we could do here. Ultimately, Leif cannot bring us down to 4,000 kilometers, though. And enough of these corrections will consume our Delta V either way. I want to focus on Cauldron's mission and bringing Cauldron back home. So we'll leave this in what safe orbit we can. So we'll probably consume its fuel so that we can get below Leif's orbit so it doesn't perturb this. And then we'll have to resupply it somewhat in order to make sure it can get to where it's going. So yeah, right now it'll push us up, Leif does. So we just want to very firmly limit things here. So that'll keep us safe from Leif. Uh, we won't have much fuel left after that. So the Jewel Station has everything except for that altitude below 4,000 kilometers. And when it says altitude, it means all the way around is the problem here. But we'll leave it be after I do this burn. Alright, hopefully that will be lathe safe. Let's see, Apoapsis 16... Yeah, yeah, lathe's SOI is not that big. Alright, so that's safe all around. Let's go back to Cauldron. Well, let's uh, wait until the Jewel to Kerbin transfer window and then we'll jump to Cauldron and try to bring Cauldron back home. But we'll have to see whether Cauldron actually has enough Delta V or not. Okay, this alarm seems to be a bit early because as far as I know, the right phase angle would be with Kerbin 49-ish degrees behind Jewel. Right now it's more like 90. So I don't know what's up with that. I mean, of course, the orbits aren't perfectly elliptical and stuff. But I still think this is a little bit too early. I think I'll go with something more like that. But that might still be too early. Now, what we want is Paul to actually be over here where we have to eject out. So I'm going to wait for that. So firstly, we break orbit. And that'll cost 72, it looks like. And that boosts us up, which is what we want. We want to go up. There we go. There's an encounter, a bear encounter. But how much does it cost us? Well, that's doable. 1,327. So we just need to fine-tune it at the Kerbin end so that we hit the atmosphere. Hopefully not too hard. Well, that seems like it's going to work out. Uh, okay, that's a little bit too close. But probably everything's going to be quite inaccurate. So... We are going to do this sequence of burns. Uh, let's get the maneuvers. Okay, pointing at the node. And going. 
close to our flag planting location right there and we're right over the pole that's why the camera is turning like this very disorienting I'm just trying to finish this node so that it's not inaccurate or anything okay hopefully that's good enough but we are headed out we are on escape from Paul so we have to return to Kerbin from a flyby of Paul hopefully it does actually see this as a flyby of Paul and of course we have the Yellowstone or Yellowstones Let's review stored data just gotta keep everything yeah the Yellowstone analysis is in not gonna transmit anything because we have limited electric charge it looks like our approach to Kerbin is a little bit messed up now okay now we have a good Kerbin periapsis and yeah there's Paul again being extra lumpy but out we go out of the Paul SOI Cauldron is all on his own there's no comms I think because this didn't have any big comm dish on it and go little spark engine okay obviously this has to be done very precisely which it won't be but we'll have enough for a correction anyway but yeah it's a bit high but maybe we'll just fix that when we get there we certainly have the Delta V so we might as well use it Hopefully, it's not going to be too intense coming in. I'm just going to go with my normal 26 kilometers or thereabouts. All right, so let's bring Cauldron back, darn it. Get something done around here. Okay, Cauldron is in Kerbin SY. Let's hop to it. All right, well, that's close enough to 26 kilometers. All right, continuing to proceed. Okay, well, let's use the rest of our fuel to slow down as much as we can without lowering the periapsis, of course. All right, that's good enough for me. Let's turn normal. Fully recharged. So, separating off the service module. Holding, retrograde, changing camera, and we're coming in. We have all the ablator, and we are in the atmosphere. Things are heating up. Service module is blowing up. G forces building up past 9 Gs. Aldrin's meter is going up there. Uh, we peaked out around 9.5-ish on that meter, which is usually a little bit exaggerated. Cauldron is reaching the G limit, but will he pass it? It doesn't look like it. Seems fairly calm overall. Okay. It will be a splashdown. We only needed like 50 ablator, geez. Sort of overdid it. Okay, parachute deployment. Well, it's just a question of whether it's satisfied with our contract fulfillment. Splash down and recover. Okay, well, we earned 604.8 science, though we don't need science in particular. Cauldron is now a level 4 pilot. And we, uh, we got the Yellowstone contract done. What about the return from Flyby of Paul contract? Where is that? Uh, it doesn't show it, but maybe we have it in our alerts. Okay, we got worlds first. Um, yes, Explore Paul is now complete. So we've done those things. Finally, it was a long time, and we got the Yellowstone. So, all is well. 
and we will continue next time. We do have to work on that jewel station, but we will see. There's also a faulty power module on the leaf station. But let me just quickly take a look and see if there's anything. Send a crew to Paul station. Uh, we should do that eventually, so we should just pick that up. There are other space stations that they want us to build. And, you know, but I don't want, uh, we've been doing a lot of station stuff, so I want to see what else we can do. But perhaps we can expand them. But I don't want to launch any new ones until we've really sorted out what we've got and tried to build things up. Uh, it doesn't look like it's really talking, I mean, this is the bases and stations contract pack for contract configurator. And it doesn't look like it wants us to add ISR units or do ISRU things, which is probably the most useful thing to do with the stations. So um, I'll think about it. We might have to deviate from the contract system a little bit in order to get things to where I want them to go. All right. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.